What's up guys, this is the Honest Outlaw here, and today we've got, well, we're gonna cover one of my favorite subjects. We're gonna cover budget guns, and we're gonna cover 1911s, because we are going to do a video on another budget 1911. Uh, this was highly requested. This is the Gerson 1911C. So this is a compact 1911 with a steel frame, 4.4-inch uh, barrel, kind of a departure from the standard commander size, and more of a fit to form from like a staccato. So like a staccato is at 4.4-inch barrels, and that's the only other thing I can think of that's 1911 style that has that. So I think that's a good uh, form to copy, to be honest with you, because I think that's actually a really good mix of barrel length, because five inch is kind of a little too much for the nine millimeter cartridge. 4.25 is just a little bit too small. That 4.4, 4.6 seems to be the sweet spot for uh, proper cycling speed, uh, reliability, accuracy, speed, all that stuff. So really good choice on the barrel length in my opinion. Comes with a serrated slide front and rear and these are all the way out to the front which makes me a little nervous using them but when I was using them in practice, they do work really well. Full length guide rod on there and it is a bushing gun. It has a Picatinny rail for optics, or sorry, optics, that would be a weird spot for an optic, but uh, lights, lasers, and all that fun stuff. Uh, this guy's in nine millimeter, so it's eight plus one, nine round, nine millimeter, and uh, they do come in 45, and they do come in full size, and they do come in different colors as well, and they also come with optics mounts if you choose. However, I do have the uh, cheapest version in front of you here, standard black with no optics mount. The gun comes in at about 2.3 pounds, so that's, I have to assume, around 36 ounces, somewhere in there, and that's a good weight for a steel frame 1911. Either not too heavy, but not too light. Control that recoil really well, and uh, still maintain a relatively light gun, considering it's a steel frame gun. 36 ounces, about four, four to six ounces lighter than your average 1911. So right there in the sweet spot, which I like a lot. We have a uh, serrated uh, slide release, uh, slide stop there, and the uh, safety is actually done really well for a cheap gun. I mean, it's super positive, as positive as my uh, Wilson Combat, and far exceeds the Taurus. The reason why I got this, that was over at Mr. Gun's, a uh, gun shop I like a lot, and uh, I was buying the Galil that you guys saw a while back, and the dude's like, I got something new in, you gotta try this out. Yeah, I saw your video on the Taurus, and I'm like, yeah, you know, the Taurus is a good option for a 1911. It's reliable, but the trigger's awful, the ergonomics are awful, you can tell the build quality is subpar. And I like the Rock Islands, but he told me, man, you gotta get into this Gerson. I don't have a lot of people that take these back. Uh, they run really well. So I'm interested, and I'm interested for a number of reasons. One, I like the specs. Two, I like the price. I bought this for under $500. A 1911, it's in nine millimeter for under $500. Really trips my trigger. And on top of that, you know what else trips my trigger? The damn trigger. So on the Taurus, I told you that we got the gun and we put it on the uh, trigger bar measurer, and it was 12 pounds, which is like 46 times what it should be. It should be somewhere between two and a half pounds and five pounds for a single action 1911. Uh, and this trigger for a $500 gun is way better than the Taurus. We're coming in around five pounds, a single action break with a real short reset there. Show it to you again. Boop. Perfect trigger, 1911 quality trigger in a $500 gun. It also comes with these uh, G10 grips that feel real nice. And then we also have, uh, a, 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 I don't think they're 25 lines per inch, but they are serrations on the front and back. And then we do have a serrated uh, uh, grip safety there uh, with an extended pad as well. And then we also have ambi controls and a combat hammer. That's a lot of damn features for a gun under $500. So, so far, consider me impressed, but we're obviously gonna have to shoot it to see how this thing actually operates. Uh, we have the standard uh, eight round mag, and then we have some nine round Wilson Combat magazines as well. Hopefully they will run. Now my buddy over Mr. Guns did tell me that you need to clean this out really, really well for it to be reliable. Uh, it does have some of the uh, grease, the factory grease on it, stuff like that. And we didn't do that. So, so uh, hopefully it runs reliably. Uh, we did lube the crap out of it. We did clean it up a little bit, but I didn't get crazy with it. So hopefully it runs reliably. The spring seems a little bit tough, and Turkish guns in general, usually made for NATO ammo, so we're gonna run some standard 115 grain, and if it doesn't run well right off the bat, we're gonna uh, pump it up to some NATO 124 grain, and uh, give her a shot. So let's get on there, take a look. Before we do that though, I wanna mention my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys very much. Just because of you guys, we're able to purchase guns like this. Thank you, we bought this for the Patreon dollars. And I also wanna mention that you guys provide ammo and you really just help fund the channel. So thank you guys. And if you wanna sign up for Patreon, all you gotta do is go to the link in the description. Also in the description is a link to a local shelter in Ames, Iowa. It is the YSS. Those kids could use your help. Do a good deed, go down, give those kids a buck or two. Not much to you, means a lot to them. All right, so we got the Gerson here, and hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. We're gonna rock the factory mag 
uh, full of some cheap 115 grain remanufactured ammo, which I cannot imagine how that won't come back to bite me in the ass. But if this gun does run that, it'll be super awesome. Ammo crunch being what it is, I try to use this stuff whenever I can. I was a little more concerned about reliability than accuracy there, and it did run it. Now let's see if it'll run it through my Wilson Combat mags. And if it really runs this, I'll be very impressed. Also with the gnat storm that's going on. Can you get all that? On the camera? Yeah, you see all the gnats everywhere? I see them with my eyeballs, but the, camera, the camera doesn't camera. see them. I feel like I'm in the jungle. Oh, we had one failure. I saw that coming with that cheap ass ammo. Failure to extract. It's not the gun's fault. I'll just switch to factory ammo. Ammo so cheap that it's having like a uh, mixed recoil and pulse because the powder charges are different obviously like I, I shoot one round and it'll be boom and then I'll shoot one out boom and it's just uh, you can tell that ammo is not gonna be it's not gonna be great if you're interested in a, in in really unquality ammo buy Great Lakes ammo get remanufactured Great Lakes ammo and then every other shot that you shoot will be a malfunction and you'll be really good at clearing them so if you want to you know work your malfunction clearing Great Lakes ammo <laughs> okay all right, so now we're moving up the ammo spectrum a little bit to slightly less cheap ammo. Uh, Fiocchi uh, 9mm 115 grain, so we'll see how that does. Can't do any worse than Great Lakes. Well, it could. It could do worse, but I don't think it will. No malfunctions so no. far? I expected that too, honestly. Uh, we didn't clean it out, but factory ammo and a good gun, usually a good combination. <laughs> well, I can hit that big one all day long, but I keep going for them damn small ones because 1911 trigger, man. Sometimes you try to bite off more than you can chew. Now I hear a lot of complaints about the 1911 and its lack of capacity, and that's legitimate. Uh, if you have these Wilson Combat 10 round magazines here, you put 10 rounds in the mag, one round in the gun, that's 11 rounds. 11 rounds compared to a gun similar in size like the Glock 19, not similar in weight, but definitely similar in size. It's not that much different in capacity. It's four or five rounds if you actually think about it. And is that gonna be the difference to you uh, with or without a reload? You learn to reload quick? That's entirely up to you. But there are strengths to the 1911 platform as well, and one of those is gonna be that super fast, super light trigger that allows you to get on target a little bit better accuracy than your standard striker fired gun and a little bit better speed as well. So it's kind of sort of a trade off between speed and accuracy and capacity. Uh, also the st uh, steel frame guns are a little bit heavier but the aluminum frame guns or polymer frame guns like even the staccato have that capacity. They also have that lightweight as well but they are going to come with a hefty price tag. So the staccato is up there on the $2,000 mark where you can get one of these for 500 bucks. I don't know, I'd feel confidently armed with this. I just hear that all that stuff all the time, like, yo, old guns don't work, but my 1873 works pretty well, 1911 worked pretty well, Colt single action works pretty well. I love the classics. Now we're having fun. Yeah, we are. All right, you're up. You haven't shot a 1911 for a while. It's true. What are you going for there? Well, it looked like it was hitting. I was going for the... Oh, that one, that, yeah, you did. It's shaking. That Wilson Combat one doesn't make sound. For some yeah. Reason. So when I'm aiming at the gun, people think you're missing. But, I didn't. <laughs> that one to the left. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's do her.
Slinging those casings out. You're out. What'd you think? I really like this. This is a lot of fun. That's five hundred dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. It I really feel like, like a it. Five hundred dollar gun. It feels super luxury, actually. I understand people don't like Turkish guns. Again, I get it. But damn, boy. I mean, the quality of that. I I can appreciate a 1911 as much as the next guy. And it sucks. It's not made in America. I'd rather prefer it was. But for five hundred dollars. That beats the hell out of my Taurus. Yep. And it's still, in my opinion, better than the Rock Island just because of the ergonomics, fit, finish, all that stuff. Feels really good. We sh yeah. All right, so the Gerson MC 1911 Compact, in my opinion, did not disappoint. Uh, first mag, we had them all function. Uh, first or second mag, I can't remember, but I saw that coming. I was trying to use that cheap remanufactured ammo that I've been trying to eat up forever, and there's only a few guns that'll run it. Uh, my CZ uh, Shadow will run pretty well, what a surprise. Uh, my PL1 and my PL7 will run it pretty well, what a surprise. CZs have lightened slides, so they run lighter ammo a little bit better, in my opinion. Uh, where something heavy, like a full-size 1911, less likelihood of that if you see a lot of the slide mask going on there, stuff like that. Uh, however, when we switched to Fioki ammo, no surprise, no problems in 100 rounds. That's what we expect, and uh, for a cheap uh, sub $500 gun, uh, we don't exactly expect it, but we hope for it. And then for a gun like a 1911, which usually requires a lot of fit finish, usually a more expensive gun generally to produce, uh, we usually have no expectation of the first 100 rounds being legit because you usually require a break-in period, the spring's a little stiff, especially a Turkish gun. Uh, you know, if anybody remembers the Canik debacles back in the day, uh, most Turkish guns are made for 124 grain NATO spec ammo, which is gonna be a little bit hotter than your standard Walmart variety, or even this Fioki, which it ran real well. So, I don't know, color me a little bit impressed. <sighs> a lot of bias there, I'm a 1911 dude. And on top of that, this gun comes with all the features that I really like. I like uh, hum grip safety. I like front serrations. I like a full length guide, guide rod. I didn't mention, but it does come with uh, three dot sights as well. Nothing special, but it's pretty good for the uh, price of the gun. Comes with a serrated curved long trigger that I like a lot as well. Serrated magazine release with the scallop in the grip. I mean, those are a lot of features for a gun that's $500. And the fact that it runs well, and the fact that it was pretty accurate too, I gotta say, man, I'm impressed. And that's a good thing, too, because I haven't been impressed much lately by budget guns. But this is one of those that I think is gonna be making a top five list eventually, as long as it goes a good bit without malfunctioning, of course. If we can run another 900 rounds for this and have no malfunctions, this would be, a, a, it'd be an amazing gun. But that's a big if, and that's why we do 1,000 round reviews, because sometimes we'll have a great first shots, and we'll have a terrible review. And sometimes we'll have a really uh, terrible first shots, and the gun will clean itself up, and then it won't have a malfunction for another 900 rounds. And sadly, you guys don't get to see that. You don't get to the update until a few months later when we do the review. But that is why we usually do two videos, whereas a lot of guys only do one, because it gives us a different perspective. It gives us the initial perspective of what you're gonna feel like when you buy the gun, get it out of the box, and go shoot it for the first time. And then it gives you the perspective of an owner that's had it for a long time. Because generally, people, the average person puts a 1,000 rounds through a gun maybe in a year, maybe in two years. So we try to do the initial impressions and we try to do the full life cycle of the gun. The initial impressions of the Gerson are extremely positive. Take that for what you will. I don't have a recommendation for this yet, obviously, because we're gonna have to put a bunch more rounds through it. But so far, I'm pretty happy. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please help out your local homeless shelters. Remember to recycle. I'll check you later.